Um, thank you, ABH, for having me again and again. And guys, one thing you know about ABH, once you're in the family, you're always in the family. They really take good care of their family. Okay, um, how many of you actually know that Africa has more than one million scientists working in the fields of natural and medical sciences? They are mostly bright-minded, well-educated, graduating from top universities across the globe, but unfortunately, all they have is a bunch of insufficient and outdated research facilities. This is, my friends, is one of the main reasons why the scientific ecosystem in Africa is so much behind and our output is not matching the global scientific output. So what can we do about this? Shall we go and fundraise and start to bring money for each single university and equip every single university with every single machine? Of course, this is not feasible, and to be honest, even impossible. So, um, would this problem hap did this problem happen in the US and Europe so that we can go there and search for a ready-made solution that, when, that can we implement in Africa? The answer is no. This is a very African problem, and therefore we need the sort of AI mentioned today, Africa innovation. In 2015, together with my friends, we launched NAWA Scientific, and we invented a business model to sell scientific services online in an e-commerce format. Let me walk you through this and tell you how does this work. So our clients who are either individual scientists or corporates would log on to our uh, platform. The platform is designed in an e-commerce Amazon-like style. We take them through a journey where you basically pick up the types of analysis you want us to carry for you, add to cart, pay online, check out, and goodbye. What happens next is very seamless. The uh, platform is connected to the courier. The courier comes to the client, pick up the samples, bring them to us, we do the analysis, then we revert the results all the way back online. So do you see the beauty of what we're doing? Now, regardless of your location and regardless of the equipment you have in your own place, you can do amazing level of research. We are becoming the lab for everyone. And instead of going and chasing every single university in every single city in Africa, we're building this, a chain of state-of-the-art research facilities, we call them the scientific hubs, located in the corners of the continent. And then we connect those hubs to a chain of smaller sample collection offices in the neighboring countries. Therefore, we can cover very quickly, leveraging technology, the whole African scientific ecosystem. So, why are we building this? To answer this question, we have actually to shift our gears from AI as African innovation to AI as African impact. From day one, now I was always about impact. We're building this chain of uh, super advanced uh, research hubs to unleash the full power and the full potential of the scientific scientists to solve African problems that no one else would solve for us. And we are empowering the second generation and the third generation of life science startups and biotechs to leverage our network of hubs, and therefore we spare them the high and expensive cost of uh, advanced analytical equipment. We have grown from a um, small lab, 300 meters square, into the biggest private multidisciplinary research center in Egypt with more than 2,100 2,200 meters square, 36 labs, 13 different specialities, and not only in Egypt. As you can see now, we are operational in Egypt, in Jordan, in Saudi. We have a sales office in Poland, in Warsaw. Next year, hopefully, we will be also operating in Lagos and in Cape Town. So the way we see it, NAWA is becoming an African multinational in the making. We have employees out of six nationalities, and even the ownership of the company belongs to people coming from 12 different nationalities. Through our journey, we have achieved a, a track record of accreditations that so far is not matched in Africa. We started with the local accreditation from the authorities in Egypt. Then we were internationally accredited when we got the ISO 17025 back in 2019. And then, just a few weeks ago, we celebrated becoming the first and the only lab in Africa that is US FDA approved and accredited for food analysis. 
Thank you. Now, as African scientists, we can be very proud that our labs are by all means non-inferior to any state-of-the-art lab in the US or uh, Europe. And you see the impact of this on our growth curve. We were on certain trajectory. Back in 2019, you see that trajectory shooting to the roof. I've been in the, in the market now for eight years, making multiples year over year. But guess what happened also in 2019? We won the second place in the ABH, and we got this extreme boost, and you see what ABH effect can help you to do. <laughs> we have analyzed, since we started, more than 400,000 samples, coming from more than 5,000 customers resident in 12 different countries. The team, which started as four-member team, has grown to over 150-plus members, with more than 26 uh, senior scientists, PhD holders coming from top universities across the globe, really making history, and we're bringing to the market a combined more than 500 years of scientific and business expertise. Ladies and gentlemen, a few years ago, I stood more or less on a stage like this. I addressed the judges, the audience, the investors, and I told them, please give science a chance in Africa. Today, I'm thanking you all for your support, but it's still the beginning. So today, again, and one more time, please give science a chance in Africa. Thank you so much.